Hi guys. Haven't done a video for a while. Well, I have, but I'm going to scrap all those and I'm going to start again. So. As you can see, I have a TV, although the TV is not mine. I borrowed that from my sister so I could play the PS3 that my brother kindly gave me as a Christmas present. It was his. And uh, he only bought it as a temporary thing because there was a point on um, with his PS4 where there was no new games being released. Not that he wanted to play anyway. And him and his friends were all getting bored, so they all got PS3 as a game. Played a few games like Call of Duty for a little while. And then they come back to the PS4. And I was going to buy this off him. Um, buying the memory for his PC as a partial payment. I didn't know, however, because he hadn't mentioned anything for quite a while. But... Uh, Who's going to give me it as a Christmas present? I've got the four games. I've got GTA 5, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and Call of Duty Black Ops. So, it's another console I've got to get games for. <laughs> um, I've got to bring my arm in because that was aching. So that was one of the it was a decent Christmas present. I was pleasantly surprised. I tried to use the um, the old-fashioned RCA type signal cable for the PS2 on this, which should have worked because it has all the socket, but it didn't. I was getting nothing through my portable TV in the bedroom, so uh, that's why I borrowed my sister's TV because it's in well, what well, was her room at Mum's not being used because she no longer lives there so I asked if I could pour it so I've got that uh, got a few Lego sets got some Lego creator sets I've still got one to make which is down there uh, got that little house on the table with the blue roof it's a three in one set there's another two different buildings I could build but uh, plus there are some Lego I was going to buy off a of buddy of mine on Facebook, who uh, every now and again gets some Lego in and whatnot, because he sells all sorts, he's got his own selling page and whatnot, and he um, had a bulldozer and a few creator sets, and again, I didn't know that mum had actually contacted him and bought them for me, so there's the bulldozer, oh look, there's another one. That's my original one. That's the one I bought years ago when the set was new. I got another one. Mostly just for the parts. Just to add the parts to the collection and the tracks. <clears throat> I've got a lot of track, um, a lot of um, capital track parts there now, so they will come in handy. Not sure what for yet, but I have got a few ideas. I could build a large excavator on that sort of scale. Or crane, a tracked crane, that's another one I could do. I don't actually have a crane. Well, I have, I just haven't got it assembled. But I didn't like the look of it, so I'm trying to think of a one I could build myself, a mock one, but I tried several and. <laughs> I've never been very good at building cranes. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Christmas Day went well. We had chicken for Christmas dinner instead of the turkey. Uh, traditionally, we would have gone for the turkey, as we have since I can remember. But this year, my sister wasn't there for dinner. She was at boyfriend's. Uh, my brother had decided he'd have dinner at Dad's this year. So we decided, as it was just me, my mum, and my stepdad, and stepdad isn't overly keen on turkey anyway. Um, 
It was actually me that just turned around and said, well, why don't we just get a chicken? <laughs> so, we did. <laughs> That's fine by me. There's nothing wrong with stepping away from the traditional stuff once in a while. Uh, oh yeah, I've got some rechargeable batteries for this. There's three in there already, but because it says pre-charged, but true to form, yes they are pre-charged, but as soon as I put these in and turned it on, it dropped straight down to one bar battery on the scale, but there you are. If I can get the hand strap up. Most sparkly and colourful. Made by the same company I got batteries for for this camera. The black and red Tronic batteries I use. Same company. Um, crap. Got carried away with the video. I forgot to put um, batteries on charge. So I'm using a Unirost charger because according to the pack they take seven hours to charge. So, just went from a clock to click round to um, ten minutes past three. So then that will be ten minutes past ten tonight. I can take them off. I'm probably being a little bit too precise, but are we on? We are on. We are, are on charge, aren't we? Because that charger I'm using has got a discharge feature and a test feature. <coughs> right. What's that sword? Mm. Excuse me. Um. Nothing on YouTube to watch, nothing going on on Facebook. People are coming up with suggestions to get over that problem. I want to um, slope the road down to the lower table. You know, like make a hill sort of thing. Um, and of course, some people comically said raise the table. Well, it's not exactly what I want to do. If I wanted to do that, then I wouldn't have asked for help on a gay fold Facebook group. Because <laughs> to me that's just the easy way out. And I don't want to take the easy way out because it's not a challenge. One option I've got is to use hinges to connect it to the top, but that's going to leave me with quite a gap at the top. But I don't think I'm going to have that much of a choice, to be honest. Um, I'll think of something. <laughs> Well, going back to Christmas though, I did get the, uh, the usual, you know, treats, boxes, you know, the traditional get your underwear for Christmas box of shorts. I didn't get any socks though, could have done with some socks. <laughs> uh, what else? A camera. In case you're wondering, I hadn't mentioned that yet, that was a Christmas gift. It seems to work pretty well. I'm going to record a video with this as soon as I've got some batteries charged so we can um, see what the quality is like. I've already done one for the LEGO channel. Um, I'm more concerned probably about the audio being better so I can be heard better. It does zoom in and out. It's a bit jerky in the zoom in and zoom out, but it does zoom in and zoom out while I'm recording, which this thing doesn't. It doesn't have that feature. Um, the only way I can do that is to stop recording, zoom in, and then start recording again. Which is too much faffing around. <laughs> but this is still good for like a pick up and quick video sort of thing, or put in my pocket and 
you know, take it, I don't know, to a classic car show, which I like to go to, the local ones. I did do something dumb while playing Grand Theft Auto. I'd forgotten to sign into my own PS10 account and was using my brother's. And I'd got up to where I had to um, take Michael to flight school when I realised. So of course, when I signed into my own account, I had to start all over again. So I spent the best part of yesterday catching up. With breaks in between, obviously I wasn't sitting there for constantly hours and hours on end. I think in total it probably took me about six hours to catch up. Well, that's only because I could um, skip the cutscenes. Because, um, despite playing GTA before, I only ever played free roaming, I only roamed around. Uh, this is the first time I've ever played the missions. Some of them are bloody tough, especially for Trevor. But Trevor's a nut job anyway, so I half expected it. <laughs> or a meth head nut job, we should say. Actually, it does say in in one of the missions when you're driving him somewhere, he does actually say he's um, usually on speed. Which um, would actually explain his, um, I don't know, eccentric and boisterous sort of personality, in your face personality, don't give a shit personality. <laughs> it's probably influenced from the speed he's always on. through my Facebook feed but there's a <laughs> Oh my good lord mum's online <laughs> I think I may end up getting a takeaway later. I can't bother to cook. It's Christmas. It's Christmas, I don't want a bloody cook. <laughs> Don't know what I'm yawning for. So it's been a hectic few days. I've had a couple of days sitting at home setting things up. And, well, as you can see, I've had a bloody good blitz in here. Ouch. Oh, yeah, I've got all those bicycle lights in that box as well. Twelve in total. I took one out of the box to put batteries in to make sure it worked because um, the box was peeling open anyway. So I thought, well, that might as well be the one I put batteries in. Yeah. These are um, a twin of an EverReady light that EverReady made, uh, think, think, back in the 90s. Um, it's a 100% mimic. I think all I've done is um, bought the rights from EverReady, put their own name on it, Tudor Lin Linternas. It's Spanish, by the way. Everything is in Spanish on this. And uh, it's actually got Madrid, Spain on it, so I presume that's where it's made. Uh, not made. Um, the market it's made for, but it's got made in China on it. And Fabricado on China. In China? On China? In China? I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. Although that, that, those three words together is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> 
but yeah, even the one that's out of the box, the whole feel of the lamp and the quality of the lamp is a dead mimic for um, the ever ready. It's literally just got the Tudor name on it, but I've used the same quality plastic, the same quality of manufacture, so <laughs> I would guess, you know, it's not your usual cheap knockoff stuff where you'd expect it to literally <laughs> fall to bits, you know, it hasn't got the fake name on it, they've put their own name on it, but even the red switch, it's exactly the same, the light beam, everything. So I was pleasantly surprised, but that was, um, I think, it was Biggles' idea. But I think as Biggles gave Mum two boxes, I would assume one come from Mum and my stepdad and one come from Biggles. Or they might have both come from Biggles, I don't know. They've, the Christmas presents this year weren't labelled, which was my stepdad's idea. Now you're probably wondering how they knew whose gifts were whose without labels. Well that's where um, my stepdad got quite clever actually. He um, used coloured bows on top. And uh, for me, my brother and my sister, we had um, two different coloured bows on our gifts. Mine were red and silver bows. And I think they did red and gold, and then silver and gold. But I can't remember which way round it was for my brother and sister. Um, so that was different as well. That was a nice, a nice change. My sister didn't like it. <laughs> but I think that's only because she couldn't go to the tree and pick up a present and try and guess what she'd got, which I think is the reason stepdad did it. Because <laughs> none of us actually knew until Christmas morning whose was whose. Because obviously, when they started handing them out, we uh, then twigged on to their um, twigged on, cottoned on to their um, plan with the bow, coloured bows on top, the gift bows, and uh, figured out whose was whose. is just going to go up as it is. Now it'll go up today, so the day you see this video, or the day it goes live, is the day I recorded it. Every damn time I pick the camera up, someone message, messages me on Facebook. <laughs> can't wait till um, the new Lego sets come out. I really can't. I want them. Well, actually, they're on the LEGO website as it is. All right. Eh. Uh. I'll try again. They're on the LEGO website right now. Available. I bet uh, I won't be able to get any until I get paid again. So, which isn't until the new year. Which isn't a bad thing, because if I went on today with the money that Mum paid me back, I would have had to have waited till new year anyway before I'd end up with one on the doorstep. So... I figured, well, just wait. I've got to wait either way. Top up on some groceries with what I've got. I'm bored of going to Lidl and buying two bottles of Coke every day, so I'm going to um, go there and get a six-pack. That's the plan, anyway. <laughs> I think I will go for the hinges on this, to be honest. And then I could sort of blend it in. Hmm. Not unless I could build like a brick wall along the bottom here. And rest that on, perhaps with some slope, slope bricks on the top. The bottom end here will um, be supported by all the other boards that will be laid on here, so it won't slide anywhere. I hope. <laughs> if 
not, I'll just have to blue tack it down to stop it from sliding. But it shouldn't do by the time I get everything else all in place. Um, so at least if I did that, I should be able to get it pretty close. I might try that. I'm all grey brick and what? Well, actually, I've got shitloads of other coloured brick. It won't matter what colour. That'll be hidden underneath, so... Because where the gap will be this side, where the board will slope, I'll, um... Fabricate a cliff or something in there, or some a grassy cliff side or something. I'll put together, just to cover it up, so I'm not fussed with what coloured brick I use. I've just got to be fussed. Uh, I've got enough! So, I'll use red, because I've got shitloads of red. Yeah, right, so I'm going to try that. <laughs> yeah, alright then. If I can think of other things to film later, then I'll just put the camera back on. But, or I'll make another video, I should say. Anyway, that's a little Christmassy update. I haven't done a lot. You know, I haven't taken anything apart. I've not done any bikes. Not done anything like that. So it's a bit boring, I'm afraid, but uh, things will get better. So, uh, anyway, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a good thumbs up. It's much appreciated. So as a thumbs down, that's just as much appreciated. And uh, subscribe if you want, want to see more videos. And... Uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.